let's talk about how to make the world's best raccoon bait. This time of the year, which today is Valentine's Day, also begins the breeding season for skunks, but we'll talk about that another day. Raccoons. Raccoons have already bred, and as a matter of fact, in St. Louis, raccoons are already having their young. And so this time of the year, um, it becomes paramount that if you're going to bait raccoons yourself, that you have the very best raccoon bait that you can possibly make. Now, everybody that's full-blown keto, like myself, is going to appreciate this video because the, the leftover that you have from making raccoon bait, there's really only three things that you need to make the world's best raccoon bait. You need a really cheap, and when I say cheap, I mean the worst cut of pork belly, which we also know as bacon. But if you can find pork belly, if you can find pork fat, or if you can find the ends and pieces, that's usually the cheapest cut of bacon that you can use. You need some really cheap dog food because urban raccoons eat a lot of dog food. So that's a very familiar food for them. And then you just need a saucepan with a nice lid on it. I prefer to use a saucepan that has uh, the perforations on the lid so that the, the steam can uh, can rise out. When you're rendering down your bacon or pork belly. So what you want to do is you want to take a saucepan and you want to fry up or render out the lard from the bacon. I like to cook it till it's a nice golden brown and then I'll drain it and I use that for food because basically it's what we call cracklings in the south or uh, pig skins or pork rinds. It's the same exact thing, except for typically you have fat and meat, you don't have the skin. True cracklings has skin on it. So that's just a little nice to, nice to know. And while the bacon grease or the pork fat is nice and hot, you want to add in a really cheap dog food. Now you want to use the cheapest dog food possible because really all you want is you want the corn fashioned in the form of dog food, which a lot of cheap dog food is nothing but corn and grains. And you want to add this dog food to the, to the hot pork grease. And then before it solidifies, you're gonna to wanna to put it into a container that you can use to distribute the, uh, the bait. Also, whenever you bait a trap, do not put bait inside of a trap. Now, we're gonna go over that in a different video, but when you bait a trap, you need to be putting your bait under the trap. You need the animal to really work at it to be able to get to the bait. So, to make the world's best raccoon bait, you need bacon, you need a saucepan, you need some really cheap dog food. You render the fat down, and while it's still hot, you add in the cheap dog food, and I'm talking the hard, dry dog food, and then you put your mixture into a usable container. Now, this might be an old peanut butter jar, or it might be, you know, a bowl. That's an old nasty bowl. Don't use your wife's good stuff because you will get in trouble for that. But right now, the female raccoons are really seeking high fat content foods and they are trying to find as many calories as they can. 
because it's cold, they are either pregnant or they've just had their young and they're lactating. And so they are utilizing a lot of calories. In the urban environment, uh, raccoons are very used to eating trash, fast food, dog food, and cat food. And so when you combine two or more of these types of foods that they're familiar with, then you're guaranteed some catch rate. And your success, catch rate success will go through the roof. So I hope this video has been very helpful for you. Uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure that you smash that subscribe button and also that little bell icon, turn on the notifications, like, our videos and also comment down below if you want to know something about raccoon trapping ask me in the comments below I will put a link in the comments to my translocation versus relocation video um, might be helpful not happy anyway you guys have a great day I pray the best for you and we'll talk with you later